Hey guys, I'll be showing you how to make your own apps for rounds. So uh, Vanilla Rounds it doesn't have a map editor, so you're gonna have to get this thing called Thunderstorm. It's a mod manager, and then once you get it, uh, search Maps Extended Editor and get this mod right here. If you want some like extra objects for it, you can do that. Um, extra map objects, and I think there are a few other things. A uh, few other mods that add their own objects. Um, but basically, I think I have all of them here, and it just they all add like colored blocks, like that. Personally, I don't ever really use them, especially because if I make them into a mod or into a map, you have to include that as a dependency for the map. So if you're gonna publish it, then people have to download more mods. And honestly, I don't see any point when I don't really like the blocks very much. So then after you get uh, Thunderstore and you get that um, you get that mod, you select Start Modded here, <coughs> and then you go to uh, you go to the main menu. Give me a second here. Go to main menu. If this will ever load. All right. Then you press Mods and then uh, Map Editor. So. The first thing I suggest you do is you press file, save as, and then save an empty template. That way you don't have to go to the main menu and come back every time you want to delete everything. Because, or I guess you can select everything and press delete, but I just like to save an empty template. I think it's easiest that way. Um, and then also go to options and I recommend just turning everything off because it plays the same track over and over and it's very annoying. You just listen to your own music, it's a lot better. Um, so after that, um, you can start building your own map. So I mean, I'm gonna give you a few suggestions before I end the video here. So um, please don't be the person who makes maps that are structured out of lines like these. It is so annoying because it, it's so buggy. I'll show you. I'll tell you why here. Let me spawn in. So you see how my character sticks through this? I can get shot through this, like, and I can. Well, I can't shoot through it, but I can get shot. Like my character can get shot here. It's so annoying. And then if uh, if I get shot here, it can launch me through. Or if uh, using certain cards, um, even vanilla cards, I believe, you can uh, accidentally teleport through it, and it's just very annoying, especially when you have like a box. Like let's say I'm building a, um, a map here, right? So here, let me just do that. And then that right here. Okay, so let's say I'm building a map here, right? Let me move the spawn actually to be outside here. So I'm building a map and I want this area to be non-accessible. So I make it so it, all the spawns are outside it. Then if I'm right, right here and someone shoots me through it and I teleport into there, which happens a lot, then uh, I'm stuck in there and I can't get out and there might not actually be a way for the game to end unless I like let myself die. And it's just very, very frustrating to have a map mechanic be the death of you. So please don't make things out of lines like that. It's, it's really annoying. Just I'd suggest just using the default size like that and you can just extend it, like get it larger, but I wouldn't really go smaller than the default. It's up to you though, I just please don't go that tiny, that is just very annoying. I mean it's totally normal if um if you're gonna make like a nah a ball uh, a box here. If I'm gonna make a box here, I can make it like too wide and then that is like a nice platform to have attached with ropes. That's pretty that's pretty okay. But um if you're going to uh gonna be using that for round just don't <laughs> um, and then over here for dynamic those are all things that will interact with the environment things that will move with gravity and such and that including like their dynamic saws that will move and then their static objects uh, like the ground which doesn't move no matter what a, a circle which doesn't move and then a saw like this saw won't move like that other saw or unlike that other saw I should say so like you can see that one's dynamic, that one's static here. Uh, so let me do like that real quick. Get rid of these colored blocks. And then down here you will have the rope and spawn. So those are just like, I mean rope mostly just interacts with dynamic things. But you can have like a dynamic thing hooked up to a ground to give it more stability. Um, things like that, just, you know, as you'd expect the rope to be. Um, and then spawn, if, uh, if you only have one spawn, then every player will spawn from that same spawn. If I have two spawns, it'll be split between them. If I have 20 spawns and there's 20 people, they'll all go their own spawn. Um, you might be thinking, well, there's only it's only two player game. Well, there are, uh, there's a mod that adds it that adds a um, multiplayer functionality. So basically, there can be up to like I think it's up to 20 players. But yeah, so if if you're already making a a mod for um, modded rounds. 
a map mod, then most people are already playing with that multiplayer mod. So you, you should probably take into consideration more than just two players. And I think that's the basics. That covers everything. Um, if you want, can my map pack is called Buds Mods. So um, Buds, or sorry, Buds Maps here. Um, I just released it like the other day. And um, I, so far, I do have 14 maps here. Um, I'll just show you some of them, like this one here. It's a pretty big map, but it includes a bunch of different interactions. Like people can hang out down here and hide, use that as cover. People can be up here sniping down people uh, while behind cover. Someone could be like down here trying to push through here and break this. While the person down here um, is like running up here trying to kill them, right? There's this area over here where you can push up the flank and run up there, and there's a saw you can release, which honestly usually doesn't do too much, but it can kind of clear out the area. And if you break the if you break the blocks, then it can do a lot. Um, and yeah, there are just a lot of different interactions that I try to incorporate. Uh, let me show you another one. My favorite one. This is my first map I actually ever made. So then uh, down here there's like this low ground sort of sense, and but you can push up and you can use this as cover to. Um, to push the high ground right up here and you know if you're stuck down here you can't really get out I made sure to incorporate that little box right there so you can actually push up and push the high ground here same with this bridge if you're stuck over on this side you can climb up and then go over here and I gave a saw to um, so the people on the high ground could get pushed back into it and die but I also did um, give the high ground some advantages like once they break through these block these um, uh, yeah, breakable blocks right there you can push the people climbing up into those saws and um, and then you can also break down, um, like yeah, you can break down any cover that they would have here, and it, you can just make their life kind of suck. <laughs> but uh, so every, everything has its own advantages and its own weaknesses. Like every position, and it's important to co incorporate that. I mean, this one here is a pretty crazy, crazy map here. I uh, made it so you can just like break that box right there, and then uh, and then these saws come pouring through, and it creates you know kind of like a fun, <laughs> fun little chaotic element to the to the game and I, and I think it's um, nice to have some elements like that but not too much to the point where it gets like crazy and you know there are also normal interactions through here you, I mean, you can tell you can look through here but um, yeah if you do want these maps it's called Buds Maps uh, and here's just another one real quick this one crashes right away and then you have this nice little thing you can spawn down here and that, and that thing you can spawn over here and the thing, this whole map will move as you play around on it which is pretty cool but yeah uh good luck making your own maps i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it really helped you and i hope to see more high quality you know maps coming out on the thunder store uh, as a result of this video so um have a good one guys